All right, guys, thought I'd do a YouTube video as I haven't done one in quite a while. Uh, this is a follow-up to the middle scale video uh, I did in the last, I don't know, about a year and a half. I don't quite remember it, but uh, the camera's pretty jittery, and I've actually kind of learned quite a bit more about mill scale uh, and its removal effectively uh, since then. So I think it was on to something. Uh, shortly after I did that video, there was a video that came out on well.com about using silicon carbide to remove mill scale, and the reason being is that it pricks off the scale as opposed to just smearing it around and loading up the wheel. I got digging a little bit more after that and I saw an abrasive similar to what you're seeing right there at a local surplus store in the hard wheel format. It still had the spiral uh, pattern on the, the back side of the wheel to clear out the, uh, the debris. And I gave it a try. I was actually really surprised. It kind of dug a little bit being a hard wheel. So I got digging a little bit more. I found a manufacturer that made a, a wheel that looks like this. DeWalt made one. Uh, I didn't get a chance to try those out in the um, the flap disc type form, or sorry, the uh, fiber disc type style. And uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised on the fact it not only tolerates mail scale, it actually really excels at it. So anyway, uh, the key to doing this is uh, to go as flat as you can. Don't try and gouge and keep moving, and it'll just pick it right off, like the other me video mentioned. And uh, it'll leave you with a finish. You still got to do a secondary uh, operation on like a like a higher grit fiber disc or a, a flap disc or even a, a non-woven abrasive like a, a Rolock type uh, scotch brite disc. So anyway, I'll put my gear on and uh, I'll show you how it works. Uh, again, that's a TC service grinder. It's basically a, a flat out industrial tool. You're never going to see these things in a local shop or a tool truck. Uh, reason being is they basically sell to shipyards and foundries and that's basically... Uh, where you're going to find these things, but you can pick them up for a really good price use surplus on eBay I've got a whole drawer full of them and you'd be surprised what you can what you can get and what you uh, you pay for these things uh, Love these things. They're they're absolutely great low vibration and great uh, speed control and I've opened a few up uh, Super quality. Anyway, I'm gonna get to uh, taking the mill scale off here and you can see how these things work Right, there you have it didn't take uh, much time at all to get uh, right through the scale down to clean white metal of course that's going to take a little bit of a follow-up and just running your hand over it here uh, well my hand rather that there's not too much dishing and it's got a fairly consistent surface anyway this is what it looks like you can uh, you can go along and find your favorite brand and see if they carry something like that again it's a 36 grit silicon carbide masonry style um, a fiber disc uh, wheel. All right, thanks for watching.